What is wrong with the sun right now? If you go to the solar and heliospheric observatory website you will see that the sun is almost completely black. It looks extremely bizarre and not right at all. What is going on? This is an EIT-171 image. EIT-195 EIT-284 and EIT-304 Is it burning out before our eyes? Are massive flares about to be ejected from our fire giant? Or is this a natural occurrence? I personally have never seen it like this before, but I'm in no way an expert. I just hope NASA scientists have an explanation. So it looks like the Mars rover Curiosity has found another strange object on the red planet. This time what appears to be an Egyptian statue on the side of a canyon. As you can see in this NASA photo, the statue is uncanny and clearly has eyes, a nose, and an elongated chin as seen in most Egyptian statues. It also has a different texture than the other rocks surrounding it except for this rock over here that also looks sculpted. I'll place a link to the actual original photo in the description box below if you don't believe me. Let me know what you think in the comments below. First reported by UFO Sightings Daily.com the head of an alien statue has been seen in a photo taken by the Mars rover Curiosity. Let's take a look. This is insane and I believe it is the smoking gun when it comes to proof of a lost civilization on the red planet. You can clearly see a huge eye. No slits. And what really blows me away is the mouth. It has teeth that cannot be disputed. Some will say this is pareidolia, but with those teeth, there is no way. They are square. And the eye is perfectly round with a pupil. I really don't know what else to say about it, it speaks for itself, almost literally. I'll leave the link to the original photo in the description box below. This story is flooding the internet today. A distant star with a very unusual flickering nature is stirring up a bit of a debate lately among the scientific community. Something was making the star dim drastically every few years, and astronomer Tabitha Boyajian, from Yale University wasn't sure what it was. Some believe this flickering is being caused by an alien structure that surrounds the star. To fellow astronomer Jason Wright, a Penn State University researcher, it looked like the kind of star he and his colleagues had been waiting for. If none of the ordinary reasons for the star's flux quite seemed to fit, perhaps an extraordinary one was in order. Extraterrestrials. Or, to be more specific, something built by aliens, 
a swarm of mega structures, as he told the Atlantic, likely outfitted with solar panels to collect energy from the star. Both Boyajian and Wright believe the possibility of alien mega structures around the star is very, very remote. It's worthy of hypothesis, Wright told Slate, but we should also approach it skeptically. So, is this what we've all been waiting for? Finding out that there is a highly evolved alien race that have built a structure so big it surrounds an entire planet. Or is it something natural? Reported by the Inquisitor yesterday and apparently aired on National Chinese News on October 7, an alien city was filmed over the city of Foshan in China. Thousands of witnesses stared at this bizarre phenomenon which some described as ghostly as it appeared to be floating above the clouds. UFO sightings hotspot reported that the event lasted for only a few minutes before it disappeared. There were other reports that a few days later, people in parts of the province of Jiangxi, also reported sighting a ghostly alien city in the sky. Some are calling this a mirage, while others claim it to be the work of Project Blue Beam. Could it really be an alien city poking through from another dimension? Or is it the government testing out their high-tech projection system? As always, you decide. Venera 13, meaning Venus 13, was a probe in the Soviet Venera program for the exploration of Venus. Venera 13 and 14 were identical spacecraft built to take advantage of the 1981 Venus launch opportunity and launched five days apart. Venera 13 on October 30, 1981, and Venera 14 on November 4. After launch and a four-month cruise to Venus the descent vehicle separated from the cruise stage and plunged into the Venusian atmosphere on March 1, 1982. After entering the atmosphere a parachute was deployed. At an altitude of about 50 kilometers the parachute was released and simple air braking was used the rest of the way to the surface. Venera 13 landed 950 kilometers northeast of Venera 14, just east of the eastern extension of an elevated region known as Phoebe Regio. The lander had cameras to take pictures of the ground and spring-loaded arms to measure the compressibility of the soil. The quartz camera windows were covered by lens caps which popped off after descent. These photos were top secret then, but now have been declassified. Leonid Kazan Fomalitai, of the Space Research Institute of Russia's Academy of Sciences, a contributor to the Venera mission, suggests signs of life in the Venera images. Leonid said that in the image we can see a scorpion-shaped life form. Take a look. To me it looks out of place, it also looks like how we see microorganisms through a microscope. Leonid believes that in the images, a scorpion-shaped creature, a disc, and a black flap are visible moving in front of the onboard camera of the Venera 13. According to reports from a Russian news agency Leonid explained in an article of the Russian journal Solar System Research magazine, they all emerge, fluctuate, and disappear. What if we forget about the current theories about the non-existence of life on Venus? He added. Let's boldly suggest that the object's morphological features would allow us to say that they are living. American counterparts seem to firmly disagree with Case and Fomalitai, 
which of course they would, why spill the beans about everything, right? Ted Strike who is a photo analyst at NASA says it is more likely that the disc Leonid is talking about could have come from the spacecraft. So do you think this is evidence of life? Or parts of the spacecraft itself? You decide. Reported to the MUFON database on October 11th, a UFO was seen flying past a flag while on a cutaway shot during a live cricket game held in Green Park Stadium in India. It appears to be traveling quite fast. The uploader of the video said they thought it looked as if it were traveling at the speed of light. Let's take a look. Let's see it in slow motion while zoomed in. It does not appear to be a bird or a drone. The shape is very much like a disc, and it is without a doubt casting light from itself, indicating it is made of some sort of metal.